Hi, I'm Marilyn Harris-Smith, and I play Andre's grandma. I love that role. I beat out 19 other grandmas for it, and it belongs to me! She's afraid of butterflies, sun, and pancakes. She's a nut. Thank you! I tell people Jesus is my agent. My husband, Percy Smith, got me into acting, and I'm so happy because playing crazy is fun. It's so much fun. So thank you, grand fans. Thank you, Janiac Jr. I'm doing this. I'm doing this because you asked me to. Now stop Instagramming me, please. Everybody stay safe. Ain't going to get food. Bye. Don't say I never do anything for you guys. Last month I made a voting poll so all of you could vote for which Victorious character you'd like me to analyze next. And much to my surprise, a majority of you voted for... Andre's grandma? Really? Well, guess I don't need this thumbnail then. I'll just throw that away. A big reason for my surprise is the fact that there's so little information about her. But hey, you wanted it, here it is. Okay, as some of you know, my grandmother is, um, she's a little out there. You know what I mean, she's a little crazy in the head, but I love her, she's the best. Just, for whatever reason, she's extremely paranoid. Charlotte Harris is Andre's crazy grandma. She's extremely paranoid. There's somebody in my refrigerator. There was! Has no indoor voice. What's up, grandma? Andre! There's an emergency, Andre! Hey! Gra grandma! Andre! Take it off the speakerphone. It's not on speakerphone. And seems to be confused by everyday appliances. Grandma, that's just the ceiling fan. It's just the ceiling fan! But why is this? What could have paved the way to dismay for the cray-cray grandmother of Andre? Well, let's take a look. Where are you from? I was born in Wisconsin! Oh, oh. <laughs> On the surface, it'd be easy to write her off as just a crazy person. But then we have clips of her trying to teach Andre how to play a strategy game like Mahjong on the slap. Along with this, we know that Andre drives her to school with him every day. Hey, Andre! <laughs> so, your grandma rides to school with you every day? If you don't like it, why don't you drive yourself? Which, unless she just stays in the car until Andre finishes school, probably means she drives herself back home afterwards, proving that she's capable of some complex thought processes. This leads me to believe that she hasn't always been this way. In Tori Fixes Beck and Jade, we get this exchange. What did you say to me? Quit screaming! Are you trying to scream louder than me? I am screaming louder than you! Oh no you don't! Oh, yeah. We know she's 53 years old because of this, so maybe it has something to do with her age, or maybe it's her home life. Your grandmother's coming to the big showcase? Yeah, it's gonna be the first time she left the house in six years. Why? Because the woman's afraid of everything. People, umbrellas, rabbis, bikinis, breakfast foods. So if she saw a rabbi in a bikini eating pancakes... The woman would burst into flames. <laughs> Andre is probably the person she interacts with the most on a day-to-day -day basis, and based on their interactions in the show, it seems like she has a strong dependence on Andre. Well, Andre and his cousin, Larry, the parrot. Well, every night when my grandma goes to bed, she talks to the bird. Sure. Since he wasn't there last night, she made me crawl under her bed and do the bird's voice. What kind of things does your grandma say to the bird? <laughs> Stuff like, uh, Larry, are you there, Larry? So then I had to go, um, yes, grandma, Larry loves you, grandma. Ah! <laughs>
The, the bird calls your grandma, grandma? Mm-hmm. So you and the bird are cousins? I guess. We also know that Andre has a great-grandfather who may or may not be ill. I can't. You have to. But I got a gun, Andre. All right. I'll just celebrate my 97-year-old great-grandpa's birthday with him next year. Possibly. <laughs> Was he Andre's grandma's father? Did she lose her mind shortly after losing a close relative? Or maybe, dude, I don't know. There's like no information on this character. Why would you ask me to analyze her? There's nothing to analyze. But I do have one theory. Hey, butterfly, get out of there. Do you hear me? Hey, get out. It's out. <laughs> To put it plainly, I think she's suffering either from schizophrenia or some form of dementia. For those who don't know, dementia is an overall term for diseases and conditions characterized by a decline in memory, language, problem solving, and other thinking skills that affect a person's ability to perform everyday activities. Now, historically, schizophrenia was viewed as dementia praecox. This is due to the varying levels of cognitive impairment schizophrenia causes. Today, they aren't considered as closely related. According to the DSM-5, the diagnosis criteria for schizophrenia include, and bear in mind, they must have two or more of the following, and it must include number one, number two, or three. Number one is delusions. Number two is hallucinations. Number three is disorganized speech. And number four is disorganized behavior. And number five is negative symptoms. It should also be noted that many with schizophrenia are able to function at a low level and that the symptoms must be present for at least six months. With all the information gathered, this would explain quite a few things that Andre's grandma experiences through the show. The hallucinations, there's somebody in my refrigerator. There was! Who do you think was in your refrigerator? A bank robber. A bank robber. The disorganized behaviors. Girl! Would you hold my oatmeal for me? Sure. Put your hands out! Okay. and the delusions. Help, I think the kid next door is planning to kill me. How old is the kid next door to you? He's seven, okay, and why do you think he's planning to kill you? He had a knife, and you took it away from him? Do you have the knife? This is a plastic knife. It could barely cut through a tuna fish sandwich. I mean, oh. The symptoms have to persist for six months, and we know that... Yeah, it's gonna be the first time she left the house in six years. So it's likely that these symptoms manifested six years before we see her. Remember, if she's 53 now, she would have been 47 years old when this started. As for what caused this late onset of schizophrenia, we don't have enough information about her to come to a perfect, definitive conclusion. It honestly could have been a variety of different situations or a combination of said situations, but there's no way to really know how it started. Listen, I searched high and low for everything I could find on this character, and I'm telling you, this video was not easy. With so little information, it's hard to know exactly what's going on with Andre's grandma. And as I said, this is just my theory about her, based on what little we actually do know about her. I will say though, it was fun making a video that you guys voted for. Uh, let me know if you want me to keep making voting polls for which video you'd like to see next. Also, special thanks to Marilyn Harris for agreeing to make that video cameo at the beginning of this video. If you didn't know, she actually has her own YouTube channel, Marilyn Harris. She also has music out on Spotify. You can check out both her YouTube channel and her music by clicking the links in the description below. 
So, who should I analyze next? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, I'll leave you with this.